Motivated by their quest for knowledge, these foreign students have chosen the town of Boya in Cameroon as their study destination. Here in the University of Boya, one of the 11 state universities in Cameroon, Janine from Chad is a master's student in conflict resolution and she has been studying here for about five years now. It's important for me to come to Cameroon because in Chad we don't speak English. It's only French and Arabic, so I wanted to study in English. And it's also my friend, my parents' you no know, choice, so I just followed. And now I'm really enjoying because I love English. <laughs> just like Janine, it is also not easy for Joshua, a Nigerian student, to adapt to his new environment. I've been in Cameroon for the past five years. This is the sixth year. Uh, the first year, I faced a lot of difficulties. The way they studied, the campus life in Cameroon wasn't conducive, wasn't friendly like that of Nigeria. But the second year, I started making some friends who encouraged me. But now I'm fine and I can now be proud. I'm like more of a Cameroonian than a Nigerian. For students coming far away from their home country, it's very difficult, you know, to adapt. But Cameroon is a friendly country because I met, you know, uh, I'm. I made new friends and they made me feel at home. Despite the tight school schedule far away from home, there is always time to reconnect with family and friends. I last lived in Nigeria in August 2021. At times I feel homesick, it's normal, but I'm fine, I'm fine. Besides the state university, the city of Boya has many other professional training centers as well as other international higher institutions. One of such institutions is the Pan-African Institute for Development, West Africa, created in 1969. Yeah, we do receive or register international students from Cameroon across West Africa. And uh, we have had uh, numerous students from uh, Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, um, Ghana, Sierra Leone, and Gambia principally, and register in different programs. It could be uh, bachelor degree programs or master programs. The institute organizes some extracurricular activities to animate the social life of the students. We have a, a sports complex that was donated by the Nigerian Consul General. They would play um, a basketball, table tennis, and, 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 and watch films together. In Boya, international students have a variety of accommodation to choose from. Rooms in hostels in the neighborhood, those within institutions, or even furnished apartments. Some of these students sometimes return to their country of origin after their studies, while others find stable jobs in the country and choose to stay here. Hence, they adapt to the local languages, traditional cuisine, and even to the local fashion.